Welcome to Weather Extra on CBS News Bay Area. I'm KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. Every week we're taking a closer look at a different weather topic, a deeper dive than what we can do within our daily weather casts on KPIX. This week we're looking at where we stand in the water year to this point and how things look as we head into spring. The water year got off to a great start with the second wettest October on record, a middle of the pack November and then a top 25 wettest December. But since early January, we've been stuck in a prolonged dry spell with zero rain recorded so far in February. Unfortunately, California's dry spell is worse than just that. New research shows that the state is in the grips of a mega drought, the worst in 1,200 years. We'll look ahead to the rest of the rainy season in just a moment, but first, KPIX 5's Devin Feely has a closer look at the drought data. There's certainly been the occasional wet year during that time, but it was preceded and then followed by several dry years, and the researchers say we may need to fundamentally change how we think about rainfall in California and the western United States because there simply is no end in sight to the current drought. Researchers examined tree rings from roughly 30,000 trees across the western United States, providing a biological snapshot of wet and dry conditions over hundreds of years. We can actually look at the uh, growth rings on trees and turn that information into uh, information on soil moisture or rainfall or stream flow. Uh, going back much further than the observational record would allow us. The researchers concluded that 2000 to 2021 was the driest 22 year period since at least 800 AD. The current drought has taxed California, spawning devastating wildfires, draining reservoirs, and straining the state's drinking and agricultural water supplies. We need to make conservation a way of life. Santa Clara Valley Water District Director Gary Crimmon says the implications are clear. Conservation needs to be a constant in both wet and dry years. We need to make a mindset of scarcity and make it permanent. The researchers say the elephant in the room is global warming. The planet, they say, is getting hotter and drier. According to their calculations, global warming made this current mega drought 42 percent more severe than it otherwise would have been. It's a good thing to understand how our activities are influencing things, and we know that climate change uh, through human influences is changing a lot in the world right now. But my pitch is that we have agency in this. We can actually do something about it. The future isn't written. We would like to end on that optimistic note, but the researchers caution that all of the available evidence strongly suggests that the drought is not going to end this year, which is not altogether surprising given how dry it's been so far. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX5. Devin rightly points out how dry 22, 2022 has been so far. In fact, as I record this on February 17th, downtown San Francisco is approaching six weeks with zero rainfall. That is the second longest rain-free wintertime streak on record. And we're getting within shouting distance of the rainy season record as well. That's November through March. But we've been here before. Just two years ago, downtown San Francisco recorded zero rain in February 2020. The first time February was completely rain free. Just two years before that, in 2018, downtown added up less than a quarter inch of rain in February, and February was also abnormally dry in 2016, 2013, and 2012. Obviously, this is something that's becoming the new normal, which has major implications for how long this mega drought will last if it ends at all. Before we get to the Climate Prediction Center's latest rainfall outlooks, Let's look back at these abnormally dry Februaries of 2012, 13, 16, 18, and 2020. Is there a recent precedent for any kind of miracle march that would at least alleviate the short-term drought conditions? The short answer is yes. In 2012, 2016, and in 2018, the dry February was followed up by an unusually wet March and an unusually wet April. 2013 and 2020 were not as kind to us, but even in those years, the months of March and April brought us an unsettled pattern with multiple rain events back to the Bay Area. So what can we expect in spring of 2022? The Climate Prediction Center's latest outlook for March shows a signal towards above average rainfall in Northern California. It's tantalizingly close to the Bay Area, but we're in the zone of equal chances of either above average or below average rainfall. We can also look at the Climate Prediction Center's rainfall outlook for meteorological spring. That's March, April, and May. It also shows the Bay Area having equal chances of either above or below average rainfall this spring, with a weak signal towards below average precipitation just off to our south. All in all, these two outlooks could be a lot better, but they could be a lot worse. We'd certainly take near average rainfall after a very dry couple of months. 
There's one more rainfall outlook to look at. This one more on the optimistic side. The Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes, that's the same organization that issues the atmospheric river outlooks, also issues seasonal long-range forecast. Their outlook, based on January's Pacific Sea Service temperatures, shows a weak signal towards above-average rainfall between now and the end of April. So what has to happen for a rainy pattern to return to the Bay Area? This big area of high pressure, a mountain of air in the atmosphere that has been just parked off the West Coast since early January, has been pushing the storm track way off to the north. We need that high pressure zone to break down and allow some storm systems to tap into a moisture source and send it our way. It's not going to happen soon in the next week or two, but we're not out of the rainy season just yet. That's it for this week's Weather Extra. Meteorologist Darren Peck will be back next week to cover another topic, and we're inviting you to play a role. If you have a weather or climate question, just email it to us, weatherextra at kpix.cbs.com.